Hey guys, the Respiral here with the first, well, it's actually the second, but I'm gonna call it the first, proper tutorial on RPG Maker VX. And today, all we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna tell you how to make, like, a good map, so to speak. So firstly, this is just to make one big enough so I can show it. Right. Okay, region fill. Shit, fuck fill, there we go. Whatever. And yeah, that's pretty. That's good. Right, when making a map, the first thing you want to do is I just do like that. Like, just make a square of that kind of land. And if you want like a that kind of area, then you just make another sort of square, maybe a bit bigger or something. If you want like a beach, you I don't know. You can do like a beach part there, and then like a snow part. Firstly, yeah, they're all squares, yeah. Um, I'll just do another one down here or something. They're all squares, which is fine, but what you really want to do is make them like a... I'm trying to think of the words. You want to make them not such a rounded shape, so like add dents into them and just kind of distort their shape a bit so they look a bit more natural instead of them being like perfectly square. What I tend to do is just go onto this pencil one and then just run the mouse over it a couple of times and then you get its like natural shape and then if it still comes out square you just like add a bit of that and stuff and that's how you make like a basic map let's just sort this out there we go it's quite hard to actually talk about it and then um after we've done this, we're just going to add all the stuff for the map to the map. So I think that'll do. Maybe add another divot sort of thing. There we go. And then the final one. There. And then what you do after that is you add stuff like trees. Again, just do like a square. And then on this part, you do like a square of trees. You can also do like you know, bushes or whatever, but or do norm like a forest sort of tree sort of thing, and then mountains. You just do them square at first, and then you like expand afterwards. Then on the sand, it'd be this kind of stuff. It's quite hard to draw on the sand because I didn't really make it very big. What the hay? And make a few of them. And then in the C, it'll just like what I tend to do with these is just select them and then just dot them around like so. And then uh, if you really wanted, you can also like add a lake sort of thing. Oops, I forgot I wasn't on the square. You can add like a lake sort of thing through the middle of them like that. And then you'd need to do like a bridge, which would be from one part to the other so that would be like there and then there you go there's one part to the other part and yeah I just need to add a few more things yeah but with the uh, like mountains you just do the same like you did with the uh, what is it you just take a bit off and then maybe like add it a bit more until you get a better shape like so uh, no maybe that's a bit Crapper. <laughs> there. I know this won't look very good, but what the hell. I'm just chewing it basically. But you just basically want. What you really want to do is just like distort the shapes of every. Oh shit. Distort the shapes of everything, and then it, you'll like come out with quite a good map. And, um. Yeah, that's round about it. Uh. I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh yeah, and then you'd need to add like your villages and stuff. So like, generally if it's a snow biome, like so, you'd add snowy things to it, like, you could even add these things. I wouldn't recommend it though, because they're freaking huge. And they look really weird. You have to actually do them. Actually wait, it's better to use the square, if you do that. Oh no, because then it doesn't do it properly. You do that and then you like, 
go like that, and then you go like that. What? I don't get how these work. Whatever. Oh no, I remember. You do that, and then you do that one. I get it. There we go. But yeah, that's what it. And then on the grassland, you do like villages such as that, and then you can have like a castle, or like a castle within a village, like that, uh, which looks pretty cool. You can also on VX Ace you can actually have like floating fortresses like like that so that would be above um ah god breathless that would be like above the water and then you could like make it so that the character has to get a certain thing to actually enter the uh, sky fortress sort of thing and you can also do one within the clouds but on the clouds you can put you put stuff like this ah oh, shit you put it like that and then on top of them ones you can put quite a lot of stuff, you can even put like, I don't know if they all fit, no they don't, they take up a hole, but they can be like on a separate island or like on here or something, it's just something you can do, it looks pretty sick, and, but on top of these you can put stuff like a tree, or that castle, or whatever the other thing is, and that is about it for making a map, I know this one's not the greatest, but what the hell, it was mocked up within a couple within five minutes so I wouldn't say that's exactly bad for a five minute map so uh, yeah that's round about it and then um, with stuff actually I, I haven't I explained this yet make it no I want to make a new one so let's insert like that and then with it being a village just put it like 20 by 17 or something makes it a bit smaller well, I'd probably do a village a bit bigger than that, but still. Then you just do that, and then with a village, I can actually go in the full way, I think. Yeah, I can. But with it being a village, you'd want it... Oh, no, I'm on the wrong one. Um, what you'd need to do is to go on to the map properties. You can name whatever you want, so like the name of the village. So, I don't know, of a village, so i just put village name. That's what I'd put here. And then display names, what comes up when you walk into the village it'd come up in the top left corner and then for tile set you'd want exterior because it's like a village so that changes that to grass and then in in the village you like add stuff like oh wait you do the bottom first so you'd add stuff like a house like that maybe even add like a top bit actually if you were going to do a house that had like two parts to it you'd need to do it like that so and then you can do the roof like that and then you can do that so it makes it look like it's got two parts to it and add the windows and stuff but what you tend to what I like to do with villages I don't know why I always like to do like a, f a fence not always on the left it can be on the right way over but I always like to do a fence and then in inside the fence I put all stuff like where are they uh, da, da, da. yeah I put stuff like flowers I don't do them so carelessly, but I just dot them around and rose bushes, all sorts of stuff. I also tend to put a sign, so like that, and then put an event on the sign that tells you the name of the village. Just it looks a bit, it looks cool. And then pop doors, you just put stuff like that. I'll explain these more when I go onto events, which will be soon. And but then what I tend to do is from where you go in you just draw like a simple path so like that and then do that and it could go like two ways that goes up up to a house or something that one could go um that one could go up to a house and then that could go around to that could go around to something but i don't know that's round about it for this tutorial so hope you've enjoyed it and until next time i've been the viral take care guys